YouTube was good. Literally just woke up. It's like seven o'clock. Seven o'clock when I try to wake up. I try and get to the shop by like 8.15. My first appointment is usually at 8.30. This is a habit that I've been trying to do. When you wake up, no media, no Instagram. It poisons your mind early. Hopefully me vlogging will help me keep this up. So full schedule today as always. We gonna get it cracking. I'm gonna take a shower. Let's go. Check out the shirt. Man, no call, no show. We don't do that. It's by Kaz Cuts. DM him on Instagram to get yours. No call, no show. We don't do that, man. Yo, you know what this guy asked for? I've never, he's actually a barber. He asked for a high taper with a C cup. No one's ever asked me that, ever. It's crazy. I have fun though. I have fun doing it. <laughs> Only accept digital payment. As you can see, I have my cash app sign right up there. A lot of clients don't like sending digital payments, but at the end of the day, you gotta do what's best for you. Trust me, it's better. You can keep better track of your money. It allows for a smooth transition after a haircut instead of the clients lingering around the area where you're cutting when you're trying to cut the next person. They dig it in their pocket looking for cash. It eliminates all those issues. holiday season charge extra as simple as that don't sacrifice extra time to service a client that isn't gonna pay you extra now me personally I don't celebrate holidays so I'm gonna be in the shop an extra day this week but I'm gonna be charging people double my time is still valuable to me and they have to respect that <laughs> Whenever you're cutting a waiver, always make sure after you take the hair down, you blow dry it so you can get all the loose hairs out. Because you don't want them to go home and then brush their hair and all the hair is in the hairline. That's uncomfortable for a waiver. Always blow dry it just like this.
Pack your lunch. Don't waste money. Pack your lunch. Don't waste it eating out every single day. Plus, on your lunch break, you don't want to eat nothing heavy. Then you're going to be cutting hair, falling asleep, dozing off. Instagram going crazy. They keep trying to say I push this bull back. It's about to hit a million views on the reels. It ain't a pushback, it's overhand. People don't get that. The bangs part, so annoying. for the day I like to do some marketing I'm editing some content over here on my phone right now if you guys follow me on Instagram today's Tuesday so Wednesdays I never cut but tomorrow I'm deciding to cut since Thanksgiving's on Thursday something I like to do is I'm selling my slots so I just put up four extra spots because I'm cutting two people in the morning tomorrow so I'm gonna just make it a long day and just so I put up four extra spots but I'm selling them for $80 each know your worth you know if I'm spending extra time at the shop when I don't have to be in there, I wanna get paid more money. You wanna get paid more and compensated more. The same thing that doctors, that lawyers, whatever, it's overtime. So overtime is 1.5 times whatever your price is. I charge $45 times that by 1.5, it's about $68, $70. But tomorrow, since it's the holiday season, throw an extra $10 on there. So I came to a complete price of $80 and people will pay it. If people value you, and if you're a good barber, people are gonna pay anything for a haircut. Just don't be money hungry. Don't be motivated by the money. Of course, everyone likes money. I like money too. You never wanna have like an obsession or a love for it. Cause that's when you do whatever for money and that's not good.